hi guys uh, you are welcome to another video on how to trade gold xausd now today's video will be looking at how we can trade gold okay so uh, there are so many strategies that we can use uh, to trade gold all right uh, but we'll be looking at um, the strategies uh, some of the strategies that we can use to trade gold all right one of the strategies we'll be looking at is the top down analysis of the charts of the gold chart the XAUS the gold chart now how do we go about this we will we'll review the market structures on the monthly time frames uh we'll start our review from the higher time frames down to the lower time frames now to review the market structure on the monthly time frame uh market structure has to do with uh either price is going up or price is dropping down sliding down or price is ranging okay going in a flat uh position all right so uh we'll start the review of the market structure from the left side up towards the right side for the monthly time frame now from the left side we can see that the structure shows that price you know was bearish and towards the middle we can see that price is going up indicating that price of gold on the monthly chart uh, charts was bullish but for now uh, what we can see uh, the current market structure we can see is a sideways ranging or consolidating structure on the monthly time frame all right so dropping down to uh the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame looking at the left side uh, we can see that um price was bullish at this point bullish in the sense that, that we have a, a low a high a lower low higher high okay bullish at this point then we have markets dropping towards this point meaning that for this particular set of weeks markets was bearish now we have markets going towards this point indicating that from here to this point market was bullish now with the recent weeks we have markets going bearish but is not completely bearish until we see market dropping towards the bottom of the the recent low this low this particular low okay when it gets towards this point we can say market is bearish but if it is still here if it's not up to the midpoint midpoint i mean middle of the chart it is if it's still above the middle of this overall chart on the weekly chart for gold we can still call it bullish because the bullish move can still continue okay but in as much as price drops to this point below the midpoint of the chart we can call it bearish all right so um that's that for the weekly time frame the weekly time frame is still bullish the monthly time frame is uh the structure of the monthly time frame is sideways let's take a look at the daily time frame what can we see on the daily time frame on this side of the chart the market can be said to be bullish okay but on this side of the chart we have a bearish market movement all right for now looking at the midpoint of this 
move of this move if we look at the midpoint of this move price has not crossed above that midpoint price crossed above that midpoint towards this area we can say market is going bullish all right but for now it's still below the midpoint of this leg this particular bearish price trend is still below the midpoint so we can still call it bearish because price might likely continue the bearish trend all right so for now on the day on the monthly time frame market market is ranging on the weekly monthly time frame market is ranging on the weekly time frame market is bullish on the daily time frame market is bearish now let's take a look at what has happened on the four hour time frame from the left side of the chart towards the middle of the chart market was bearish now from the middle of the chart towards the recent uh, four hour candlesticks on the four hour chart you can see market is bullish bullish in the sense that we have a low a high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low so we might be expecting higher high all right so for the top down analysis of the market structure on the monthly time frame market is ranging on the weekly time frame market is bullish on the daily time frame market is bearish on the four hour time frame market is bullish all right so let's run through what we have on the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame we can see that uh, the market we cannot call this as a bearish move because this side of the chart is not up to uh half not to half of the chart at this point we have a down leg covering half of the chart we can call it bearish okay but the entire chart shows that market started from the low we have this as a as a high low higher high lower low okay we now have a higher high higher low higher high higher low okay so we can say market has been bullish and is still bullish if the price is able to drop below the midpoint and continues towards the lower part of the chart we can say market has gone or is currently bearish but for now it's still above the middle part of the chart okay so on the monthly time frame market is ranging weekly time frame market is bullish daily time frame market is bearish four hour bullish one hour bullish let's take a look at what we have on the 30 minutes time frame on the 30 minutes time frame what do we have uh this market is at the low point around here market is at the low point around this point and towards this side of the chart market has been bullish now if you look at the 30 minutes time frame on this part of the chart market is at the highest point on the chart okay now towards this part of the chart market has been bearish all right now if we look at the midpoint of this leg this down leg okay let's say this is the midpoint market is at the midpoint it's about crossing up to being bullish so that's another way of analyzing or knowing the market structure okay uh we have a high around here we have a low lower high higher low higher high lower low okay so the overall movement was a down leg we have a lower high lower low now we are having a higher high and this is telling with the midpoint of the 30 minutes time frame for this particular recent uh down leg so if price continues up towards this region we can uh, we can conclude that market is 
now bullish and might likely go up more so on the monthly time frame market has been ranging weekly time frame market is bullish the daily time frame market is still bearish four hour time frame market is bullish one hour time frame market is bullish 30 minutes time frame market is let's say ranging or at the equilibrium about turning to bullish okay let's take a look at the 15 minutes time frame what do we have on the 15 minutes time frame from around this region down to this level market has been bearish all right okay but the equilibrium is around this point we can still say market is ranging on the 30 minutes time frame by the time it crosses towards this point we can say market is bullish but for now it's ranging price might still decide to drop so just like what we have on the 30 minutes time frame okay we have a similar situation on the 15 minutes time frame uh market is neither bullish nor bearish okay ranging okay lastly let's look at the five minutes time frame on the five minutes time frame for the left from the left side we have uh price being bullish around this point and uh, we can see price dropped for us to have a bearish movement around this point and then currently on the five minutes time frame market is bullish so if we look at the monthly time frame market is ranging weekly time frame market is bullish daily bearish four hour bullish one hour uh, bullish 30 minutes ranging 15 minutes ranging and five minutes bullish so the overall uh the overall some summary of it is market is bullish so the summary of it is that the monthly time frame market is bullish the weekly time frame market is bullish daily time frame market is bearish four hour time frame market is bullish one hour time frame market is bullish 30 minutes time frame market is ranging 15 minutes time frame market is ranging five minutes time frame market is ranging so with this top-down analysis you can conclude that uh xau usd market uh, price price is currently bullish so if you want to trade you might want to look for buying opportunities so that's that for the top down analysis on how to review uh or know or determine the price of gold so on the monthly time frame it's ranging okay but um what we have to consider is how what particular zoom level can we use to uh judge or analyze top down analysis use the zoom level of the of the chart when you open the chart okay uh use the zoom level of the chart which is zoom level three out of five if you have five zoom levels select zoom level three okay so that you can use it to analyze uh the top down market structure analysis okay zoom level three should be okay or whenever you launch the chart the particular zoom level that the chart comes up with that is the zoom level that i advise you use now uh another way of analyzing uh the ex the gold chart is uh what i'll call candle color and momentum okay candle color and momentum okay review the population or numbers of the green candles and compare with that of the red candles also check the candle level information all right so so if we are going to look at the uh candle color information on this particular chart we can see that we have more green candles okay on the monthly chart okay more green candles on the monthly charts uh we have more like a balanced uh color these are all reds and these are all greens okay it's balanced uh on the daily chart we have more of red okay more of red the the greens are at this point but there are few but the population of the reds are more okay on 
the four hour chart we have more green recently recent greens okay the greens are more uh, this part of the chart the reds are more all right on the one hour chart we have more of greens okay the population of the greens are more and that's why we, we have a bullish trend on the 30 minutes chart we have more of greens on this side and more of reds on this side that's why it's balanced on the uh, 15 minutes chart we have more of red on this side and the greens are gradually coming up and that's why it's also balanced while on the five minutes chart we have more of greens okay looking at the momentum in terms of candle length look at this particular candlestick this particular candlestick is an institutional candle with very short week at the top and at the bottom okay this shows that the bulls are strongly in the market uh, look at this particular candlestick too it's an institutional candle shows that the bulls are strongly in the market look at this one engulfing it's engulfing like three candles around here shows that price might likely go up so the length of the candlestick matters that's on the monthly cha uh, chart looking at the length of the candlestick you can look at uh, what we have here this is a tweezer bottom okay we have this particular bearish candlestick and we can see this bullish candlestick stick balancing it and we can see what is happening like a reversal all right so look at what happened here look at this institutional candle look at this bearish institutional candle and you can see that the following week was also a bearish week all right so look at this particular long bullish institutional candle this is a clue that price is going to go up all right so uh, on the daily time frame we can see that uh, the, the the bears the candle six of the bears of the reds are more okay and the bulls are trying as much as the bulls are trying the bears still dominate and we can see another retrial here and we might likely see a, a, the bears stepping in to push price down all right so uh, but the recent candlesticks shows that the bulls are creeping in and just few of the bullish candlesticks are longer we have few longer bullish candlesticks so that's that on how to check for uh the candle color information uh the candle color uh candle color our momentum you can see the momentum increasing here okay so that's that on how to analyze Based on the candle color and momentum, look at the momentum around this point on the four-hour chart. The momentum increased up to this point, and we can see a, a subsequent increment in momentum. Though the rate at which we have this spike is shorter than this, shows that the momentum is decreasing. So that so those are part of the information we look at when analyzing uh, gold. All right, that's that for today's video. If you're yet to subscribe. To the channel what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe so that you get to see the concluding part on how to analyze gold all right if you like the video click the like button okay click the like button so that the algorithm can push the video to other viewers all right if you are, if you are, if you are yet to uh, click the notification bell button below 